This is Kajol Jadav and I am here to explain daily current affairs for UPSC Civil Services exam. To act east, improve security in northeast to improve connectivity with Southeast Asia. Why internal security scenario of Northeast India should be given special attention? What is Act East policy? What are its objectives? Why the security in Northeast is prerequisite to act on Act East policy? GS Paper 3 Internal Security and Challenges In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from IndianExpress.com, dated December 30th, 2017. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website IASvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. Is the context about political will and dynamism for propelling India's Act East policy needs to be complemented with urgent measures to address two key issues, lack of security and connectivity. Addressing them is necessary to make the Northeast the launchpad for India's interface with Southeast Asia. Connectivity needs to be addressed at three levels, physical connectivity, digital connectivity and above all the emotional integration or the region with the rest of the country. Why internal security scenario of Northeast India should be given special attention? Northeast India sharing boundaries with five countries, some of them not friendly with India, has tremendous strategic significance for the nation. The region now comprises of seven states known as the Seven Sisters. The Seven Sisters unfortunately do not have the best of relations due to mutually conflicting interests. Being the fulcrum of India's Look East policy, this region has been coupled with prevailing insurgency, terrorism as well as ethnic conflicts. Extremism, terrorism, gun running and other forms of criminal activities have overtaken classical insurgency and hence it deserves special attention from the center as well as from civil society. What is Act East policy? What are its objectives? India's Act East policy focuses on the extended neighborhood in the Asia-Pacific region. India has upgraded its relations to strategic partnership with Indonesia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Japan, Republic of Korea, Australia, Singapore and Association of Southeast Asian Nations and forged close ties with all the countries in the Asia-Pacific region. The objective of Act East policy is to promote economic cooperation, cultural ties and develop strategic relationship with countries in the Asia-Pacific region. It aims for an enhanced connectivity to the states of northeastern region including Arunachal Pradesh with other countries in our neighborhood. Why the security in Northeast is a prerequisite to act on Act East policy? No thriving economic engagement can take place in a hostile environment. Also, money laundering, hawala, fake currency, illegal migration, etc. are a serious threat to the establishment of formal economic channels between Northeast and ASEAN. Security is essential for investment and development of necessary infrastructure. For example, Kaladan Multimodal Project, India Myanmar Thailand Trilateral Highway and Bangladesh Corridor to Northeast are some of the high-profile infrastructure projects which require 
high level of investment and trust. Security and integrity of the region is necessary to counter the influence of China in Northeast, Bangladesh and Myanmar. Chicken Neck Corridor is the only land-based medium of connectivity between India and the Northeast and the vulnerability of the same has been highlighted during Doklam crisis 